found out she had TB when she went for a medical checkup before applying for the position of a lawyer at the state body. She was immediately announced that she had to stay at the hospital to be treated. She couldn't believe she had TB. She felt horrible, thinking that her daughter, who had always been around, might be ill as well. I tried to think positively. I am fortunately, when I did the x-ray, I have been told that my diagnosis was serious. After all during this period, I interacted closely with my daughter and all the others. Every night, until results came, I was constantly thinking about it. The doctor encouraged me by telling that everything would be fine, and even if, we also have medicines for children. I put all my hope in God's will. I thought everything would be fine. I did the investigations for my daughter and everything was fine. For almost two months, Elena has stayed in the hospital. She took handful of pills day after day. After her discharge from the hospital, she was told to follow the same treatment under strict supervision for six months and visit the local outpatient clinic five days a week so that the doctor could be sure that she was following the treatment. Daily visits to the doctor were a real challenge for Elena, but she was ready to do so in order to recover. Soon after she was discharged, the doctor suggested her to continue treatment under video observation. It's very convenient. You don't have to go anywhere. Now with this state of emergency and this disease, it's really easier. There is a long queue at the hospital or outpatient clinic. But using this way, you just take your medicines and you do not have to deal with anyone. Just record the process and send the video. This is one thing, but you may also not feel well after taking the medicines. So it is better when you are at home and do not have to go anywhere. Now Elena has more time for her child and feels safe because she doesn't have to stand in queues in medical institutions. The video observed treatment offers patients the opportunity to follow TB treatment at home, at work or on vacation, without having to make daily visits to the treatment office to take their pills. Patients only need to take the medicines in front of that device, record the process and send the record to the observer using the application. Nine patients out of 40 benefit from this model of treatment in Floresh district. Treatment under video observation is quite welcomed nowadays. I really appreciate that I have the opportunity to see the patient every day. Every day I can see him taking his pills, so in this way the patient's condition is also clearly visible. Every patient has been given a cell phone and it helps us to monitor him very well. It's a special type of control. If I want to see how the person took pills two or three days ago, I can easily check this. Doctors say that the outcome of treatment depends largely on the psychological condition of the patient, as well as on the attitude on the side of the medical system and family. The first weeks after, the diagnoses are perceived as a tragedy by the patient and therefore special attention is very important for him. TB treatment lasts for nine months to two years and longer. TB treatment is difficult to follow. Tuberculosis is a disease with countless socio-economic implications and consequences. For this reason, it remains number one infectious killer in the world. Tuberculosis requires comprehensive and multidimensional approach 